This conference will now be recorded. Okay, let's get started. So, <clears throat> first of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Kashif. I am from India. I have around 13 years of practical IT experience. I have uh, expertise on uh, SCCM, Intune, Active Directory, uh, Application Packaging, PowerShell. I am a BSc IT graduate. I did my graduation from Mumbai University. Uh, here uh, are my website address, blog, email address, and Skype ID. <clears throat> I have trained more than 13,000 students globally. So that's about me. Let me take you to my next slide, which talks about the duration of this training. So duration is 35 hours, Monday to Friday. And daily we will do uh, one and a half hour session or two hour session. Okay. Okay. One month it will take to finish all the topics. Okay. okay. Now in the demo session, we talked about the historical details, right? SCCM started as SMS uh, system management server. There was something weekend session as well i mean uh in the back in the yeah. back slide. yeah weekend session was there but i am not doing weekend session at the moment because of other okay. project okay. Okay. okay 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 sure so you see um sms uh was the old name of sccm in the year mm -hmm. 1994 Microsoft started this product and they named it as SMS 1.0, then SMS 2.0, then SMS 2003. Then they changed the name from SMS to SCCM, System Center Configuration Manager. They released SCCM 2007, 2012, then SCCM 1511. So 15 is what? Year. 15 is year and 11 is month. So 1511. Month. Then these three versions released in the year 2016. These three versions released in the year 2017. These three versions released in the year 2018. Okay. Yes. And these three versions, which is released in the year 2019, but from 2019 October, they changed the name again. You see, 1910 is MECM now. So it is no more SCCM, it is Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. Got it? Okay. MECM. So Microsoft uh, did this MECM 1910 and then in the year 2020, MECM 2002, MECM MECM 2006 and the latest and greatest version is MECM 2010. 2010. This is your latest and greatest version. So it started from 1994 and the latest and greatest version is this one. So more than 25 years, this product is there in the market. Okay. Now, certification exam was there, but it is already expired. So we don't have any exam at the moment. Okay. So there is no exam at all for the system as of now. No. Okay. 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 So uh, I, if you talk about the opportunities in SCCM, SCCM holds 43% of market share. Okay. People who are uh, working on SACM profile, they are earning uh, somewhere around 45 US dollar as per the statistic. Okay. okay. In, uh, not in India, outside India, in US, Canada, Australia, okay, outside India. And uh, you will, you need to apply for SACM on uh, Nokri uh, mm -hmm. or uh, monster right 
to get yes. SCM related uh, job opportunities. But since you guys are in Microsoft, I think, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so if you are already working on SCM, so then you don't have to do that. Uh, but uh, SCM job opportunities are there and uh, you will find SCM related job opportunities on uh, these job portals. You, you have SCM competitors like uh, IBM Big Fix. Okay. Okay. IBM uh, Big Fix. Then you have Landesk. Ivanti okay. Landesk. Then you have uh, Alteris, Semantic Alteris. Right? Then you have Tanium. Multiple other products are there in the market, but SCCM is on the top. Okay. In terms of okay. managing devices and deployment. So it holds like 43% of market share. Almost all big size companies and medium sized companies have SCCM. You may not find SCCM in small size companies, but almost all big size and medium size companies have SCCM. Got it? <clears throat> okay. Now let's talk about the sites in SCCM. There are three sites in SCCM. Okay. Central, mm -hmm. primary, and, and secondary. secondary. Now you need to make a note of these things, okay? Okay. So there are three sites central primary and secondary now we will talk about these sites one by one okay okay what is a central administration site so central administration site is what it is an optional site you need to make a note of it okay Okay. Optional site means it may or may not need it. Okay. <clears throat> Second one, it sits on the top of the hierarchy. It sits on the top of the hierarchy. It will be always on the top, like. Cash will be there on the top, then you will have primary, and then you will have secondary, like this. Got it? No. Okay. okay. Third thing is it needs SQL Server database. Okay. Okay. Because it has to store data. Okay. Whatever mm -hmm. the data it collects, it will store the data in S SQL Server database. Okay. Okay. So it will collect the data from uh, primary sites database and then it will store them in the database. So primary site also has a database okay mm -hmm. so for example primary site one and primary site two these are two databases so central administration site also has a database so whatever the data primary site collects it will pass on to central administration site, site database so whatever the data primary site collects it is going to pass on to central administration site database got it okay uh, when do we since it is an optional site when do we need it so it is needed so only have, uh, when we have more than one primary site i guess right right it is needed only when you have more than 
one primary site okay okay if you have only one primary site let's say ps1 can we put cas is that is that right mm, it's not necessary uh, putting cas over here because we need for cas to exist we need to have minimum two primary <coughs> sites minimum yes you can have as many as primary site in one cas you can have maximum 25 child primary site how much 25 child primary site so ps1 ps2 ps3 and then it will keep on going to ps25 got it got so cas can have maximum 25 child primary site and for cas to exist you need to have minimum two primary site okay Okay. It collects data from it collect data from primary database. Got it? Yes. Yes. Point number six. It supports up to eight hundred twenty-five thousand clients. How much? Eight hundred twenty-five thousand clients. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, what uh, what does this line say? Means client means the computers. Where you install SCCM client? Let's say you have fifty thousand computers: okay. Windows Ten, Windows Server, Windows Seven, Windows Eight, Windows Eight Point One, Windows Server Two Thousand Twelve, Eight, Sixteen, Nineteen. So you will install client on these machines. Okay. You can also have Mac computers. Okay. You can also have mobile devices. So the client will be installed on all the machines. So in CAS hierarchy. Maximum number of clients can exist 200, uh, 825,000. Got it? Got it. My voice is clear? Yes, yes, it's, it's clear. Point number seven. <clears throat> It does not. It does not uh, interact with clients and secondary site. Got it. Got it. Base. Basically, it only manages primary side, nothing else. It does not do anything like it does not uh, define the policy. It does not initiate the deployment. It is just for inventory purpose on the top of the hierarchy. It does not interact with the client. It does not interact with the secondary side. Secondary side and client has got nothing to do with central administration side. OK. OK. <coughs> Point number eight, it manages only. It manages only what? Uh, primary primary sites. sites. Yes. Clear? <clears throat> Any question? Okay. Oh uh, no. Now we will talk about primary site. Primary site is what? It's the core of SCCM. It's the heart of SCCM. Without primary, you cannot do anything. You cannot manage devices. You cannot deploy application. You cannot do anything. 
so it is what it is it an optional no it's not here it is a mandatory site got it it is a mandatory site got it it needs sql server database it needs sql server database to store the data so primary also has a database just like central primary also needs a database clear okay <clears throat> So it replicates data to CAS database. Suppose if you have CAS, let's say if you have CAS. If you if you don't have CAS, then it does not do that. But if you have CAS, then whatever the data it collects, it is going to pass on to central administration site database. Got it? So it replicates data to CAS database. Understood? Yes. it manages clients on well connected network that means what suppose if you have a building okay what is the building mm -hmm. new york let's say the building is located in new york okay mm -hmm. in that building you have five floors okay how many floors five floors so in each floor you have like 10000 devices okay in each floor you have 10000 devices so how many devices we have 50000 hmm 50000 devices overall overall 50000 devices in total and they are all connected on the lan network all of them are connected to the lan network right okay so they are on good connectivity lan network means it is good connectivity well connected network right we don't have any mm -hmm. uh, van network in place at the moment so in order to manage these 50000 devices we will install one primary site here in that building in that location and that primary mm -hmm. site will be managing all the devices in these 50000 devices got it got it and uh, can we do this uh, this as well like uh, on uh, on each floor we can install one primary site then we we can no, place no. a gas on top of no, it no 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 then you are basically uh, complexing your environment why because one primary site can manage up to 175000 devices so there is no okay. need of another primary site if the number is less than 175000 okay oh, got it. plus also you will if you install multiple primary site then you have to manage multiple primary site so that will be difficult environment complex environment so rather you make it simple only one primary site which will be managing all you see if you have one person to manage if you have five person to manage which is easier one person right so one primary site will be there for 50000 devices now the devices which are located in different region let's say mumbai okay let's say london these are on which network van network right van network. wide area network 
-hmm. So you need to install secondary site here. You need to install secondary site here on these two region. Okay. And these secondary site will report to the primary site. Okay, we'll be talking to the primary site. So for WAN network, the, the devices which are outside the LAN network, okay, which are on low network bandwidth, which which are not on good connectivity, then we need secondary site for those devices. Okay. Oh, okay. Understood? Got it. So the target is to keep only one primary site. If you have less than 175,000 devices, keep only one primary site. It will be easier to manage. Okay. Okay. Then you have it. It collects data from secondary site secondary site database so in each region you have a uh, secondary site secondary site is collecting data from those region so secondary site will pass on the data to primary site primary site <clears throat> point number 6 it manages all secondary site it also manage secondary site without primary secondary cannot exist okay okay how many secondary site can a primary have primary can have maximum how much mm -hmm, not sure 250 secondary site okay okay one primary can have 250 secondary side one central can have how many primary side 25. 25 one primary can have 250 secondary side okay okay, okay. All clients will be assigned to primary site. Okay, all the clients. If you have 10,000 clients or 20,000 clients, if you have 50,000 clients, the, the clients which are located in LAN network or WAN network, wherever it is, they all will be assigned to primary site. They will not be assigned to central. They will not be assigned to secondary. They all will be assigned to primary. Got it? Got it. Let's say you are from Microsoft. Whatever the project you are working in, you whether you are working in Hyderabad, whether you are working in Mumbai, whether you are working in London, you are assigned to Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Okay. Similarly, all the clients will be always assigned to primary, not secondary, not central. Okay. No. All clients will be assigned to secondary site. Point number eight. It supports up to one hundred seventy-five thousand clients. Understood? Yes. 175,000 client computers. No question? No question so far. Yes. Now, the last site what we have is secondary site. We'll talk about secondary. So, secondary site is what? It is an
optional side. Why optional? Because if you don't have branch office, do we need a secondary? No. We don't need a secondary side if you don't have any branch office. Okay. Point number two. It is needed only when you have clients in remote location like in branch office, right? Mm -hmm. So it is needed only when you have clients in remote location or branch office, okay? Or where the network bandwidth is, uh, where you have low network uh, bandwidth. If you If the network bandwidth is good, for example, uh, Mumbai to New York. If the network bandwidth is good, you don't need a secondary side. You need secondary side only when you have low network bandwidth on the WAN network. And ideally, on WAN network, you have low internet connectivity, right? Yes. <clears throat> It needs SQL Express or SQL Server Database. Either you need SQL Express or SQL Server Database. For primary and central, you only need this one, SQL Server Database. Got it? Okay. But for secondary, you can use either this one or that one. But mostly we go with this one, SQL Express, because it is free. Clear? Okay. It is free. That's the reason we go with SQL Express. It collects data from client machines, client computers. So the computer where the client is installed, the client will pass on the data to secondary site. Inventory data, the deployment data, right? Installed history data. Understood. So in the branch office, it is going to collect the data from the branch office data uh, uh, computers, client computers. I hope it's clear so far. Yes. It passes on the data to the primary side database. Yes. Clear? Yes. It supports up to 15,000 clients. 
so if you in a branch office if you have uh, fif less than 15000 devices we need one secondary site if you have more than 15000 clients then we need two secondary site accordingly any question no options so now central administration site can have maximum 25 child primary site maximum 25 child primary site and the total number of clients it supports 825000 got it one primary site can have maximum 250 secondary site and maximum 175000 client computers okay one okay. secondary site can have maximum 100 uh, sorry 15000 client computers uh could you please uh, go backwards any question okay no no question we can proceed now sccm is deployed in this um uh, architecture uh, either uh, with this the first one there are three diagrams in this slide first diagram is this one second here and the third one is here okay. okay so in the first slide when you have a small size companies so you need only one primary site when you don't have any branch office only one location all the computers are located on that network in the lan network so you need one primary site which is going to manage all the devices in houston for example houston is your company headquarter okay mm -hmm. so you need a stand alone primary site second one is 99% you will find this kind of architecture wherever you go i i think you are going to work on work for clients right on microsoft yes. payroll right mm -hmm. yes. so yes. microsoft uh, clients uh, 99% you will find this kind of architecture so for medium size companies okay this is for medium yes. size companies mm -hmm. you will have primary site in the houston in the headquarter and secondary site in the branch offices okay and secondary will report to primary got it secondary will report okay. to primary like this any question no no question understood yes so we have uh, this is for medium size company so only one primary and multiple secondary site in the branch offices okay mm -hmm. hi riyazuddin how are you uh hello yes i'm good thank you no worries okay so i think you joined late so let me give you a brief uh, what we have done even though the session is getting recorded so you, today is the first session wherein we are discussing about sites so we have discussed about uh, sccm sites like central administration site secondary site primary site and now we are discussing about the site hierarchy the diagram architecture diagram okay so the first one is for small size company right 
wherein you have only one primary site. The second one is for medium sized company wherein you have a primary plus secondary. And the third one is for big size organization. You might have this uh, in Accenture, Deloitte, IBM, Microsoft, big organization wherein you have more than one primary site guys. So primary one, primary two and primary three. So more than one primary site in each region uh, in uh, the uh, each continent and then all those primary will report to central on the top central will be sitting on the top like this okay any question all good uh, sir yes. this one is, is a primary site Hosted one. This is an example of a small medium. This is this is an example of a small size company. Uh, wait, one size. I'll tell you. you see, let's say you have started a company. It is a small size company. <coughs> Only one building, okay, and the building is located in London. Where? In London and all those computers are there in the LAN network let's say there are multiple floors and total 50000 computers how much 50000 so you need only one primary site you don't have any branch offices you don't have any other location so one primary site is going to manage all these 50000 devices clear this is the first architecture for a small size company clear or not uh, clear thank you now the second one is for medium sized company let's talk about medium size 99 percent you will have this kind of architecture 99 percent okay this kind of architecture so wherein you will have primary plus secondary primary plus secondary something like that so let's say london right london has 50,000 devices this is your headquarter london is what it's your headquarter you need one primary site primary site is going to manage all these 50000 devices in london but what about the branch offices computer so you have branch offices let's say there are few branch offices mumbai right then you have uh, uh, singapore then you have hong kong and in mumbai you have 2000 devices in singapore you have 3000 devices and 4000 devices in hong kong now these devices are located in van network remote location so it is not on lan network so what do we do we need a secondary site here in mumbai we need a secondary site in singapore we need a secondary site in hong kong secondary will report back to primary like this all secondary will report to primary this is for medium size organization wherein you have one primary site but multiple secondary sites in the branch office in branch office we will install secondary site clear okay thank you now the third architecture is for big size organization this is for ibm Accenture, Deloitte, wherein you have thousands and thousands of companies, more than 100,000 or 200,000 devices all over the globe. So you need central on the top, multiple primary site, more than one primary site. So one primary in America, for example, one primary in Europe, and one primary in Asia Pacific. And these primary will report to central like this. Okay. Got it? Any yes, question? Okay. And you will have secondary, for example, couple of secondary site for each primary site. Okay. So P1 has two primary secondary site, P2 has two secondary site, and P3 has two uh, secondary side you can have more that's not it's not like only two one primary side can have 250 secondary sites maximum all good this is for big size organization now how the data flows so you will have as i mentioned earlier cas has a database cas has 
database it is storing everything in sql server database primary also has a database okay it is storing everything in sql server database and secondary side has also a database either sql express or sql server database so mostly we go with sql express which which one sql express okay now the database flows data flows from downward to upward whatever the secondary collects from the devices it is going to pass on to primary database whatever the primary collects it is going to pass on to central okay clear okay just like this secondary has a database primary has a database central has a database so it is going to pass on the data to primary primary will pass on the data to central like this okay so uh, every primary site have its own portal on the azure on the cloud every primary site has its console primary site so, will have SACM console every okay. primary site. and what about secondary site? secondary does not have that cas also has a console central also has console but secondary site does not have it okay okay these things will get more clear uh, after a few sessions you will get more clarity okay sir i have a question um, mm. like uh, before uh, conventional servers and everything we practice yes. more and more and more how many times we can do we can just create a virtual machine and we can do this but to get into the industry uh, we have very limited resources like um, uh, and if we are using azure portal so as your doesn't give too much uh, credit free uh, so we can't we can't carry on keep practicing so how can we get into the industry so for local setup suppose if you are going to do it on your vmware workstation so you can do it on laptop or desktop local so yeah. you can create you can create uh, like three virtual machines one database another SCCM server, another uh, domain controller, and one client computer, four computers, okay? And this setup will be available for you for six months. Okay? Okay. Once it, after six months, when it gets expired, then you delete all the servers and then reinstall again. Another six months. You keep on doing every six months. Got it? Right, but this is on but, the servers. But what about on the on the Azure cloud? For Azure, you get similar kind of arch uh, in environment like on Hyper V. You can create your four uh, machines, virtual machines, but that is only for thirty days. Free trial, thirty yeah. days free after 30 days it will get expired and then you will have to start making payment to microsoft for all the resources what you are utilizing right so either you start pay paying to them or you create another subscription new subscription and start over again got it okay got it Suppose you have utilized your number, phone number. It needs phone number. It needs credit card. It needs uh, uh, what? Email address. So, for example, you have utilized your email address, your phone number, your credit card for Azure account for the first 30 days. Next time you can use your uh, wife's account, or next time you can use your uh, uh, brother's account, something like that okay or you have to start making payment to microsoft there is no other option but for local you have six months 
I would suggest you use local if you have, um, you know, credit card uh, limitation. Then you use local. So local and on cloud is the same console, same, 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 same to same. And uh, what about this? Um, and what is the um, and when we can use SCC and what is the minimum requirement of the of, of the environment? We can um, install SCCM on local. Yes. Minimum like for implementation uh, for implementation. I'm I'm asking from the implementation point of view, what is the minimum users requirement we can install SCCM? Minimum user requirement depends on companies to companies, but for SCCM to install, you you can do it on your computer, like on a Hyper V or virtual machine, and you can have like. <coughs> Four gigabyte of RAM to SCCM server. How much? Four gigabyte. Okay. One core processor. Okay. Okay. How much? One core processor. And okay. 300 or 200 gigabyte of free disk space. This is like minimum for lab environment, but for production, you have to have you know good configuration like 96 gigabyte of ram octa core processor and all for to give you to give you a good performance you know oh, okay i would suggest if you have suppose if you have 16 gigabyte of ram in your computer you have ssd hard disk let's say minimum 200 gb free right and you have a quad core processor like i5 or i7 or something like that or amd uh, processor then you can you should install sccm locally for six months okay understood oh yes understood uh, one one question um uh, why sccm is not very popular in multinationals uh, someone was saying that sccm uh, is only popular in local i mean uh, local environment not multinational so what uh, architecture they use in mean, multinationals multinational yes no who told you everywhere you will find sccm wherever you go you will find sccm any size of company yeah almost everywhere almost all big size organization plus medium size organization you have sccm you may not find it in a small size company but medium and big size company you will have sccm you see uh, one of your uh, aklesh have you started working on sccm already Aklesh? Yes, I'm working with SCCM. Okay, so uh, as per Microsoft, SCCM is the third largest selling product of Microsoft. Okay, first is what? First is Windows, Windows operating system. Second one is Office, and the third one is SCCM. So Microsoft is selling this product on the third number. Okay. Uh, okay. Riz Riyazuddin Akhilesh is from Microsoft itself. Okay. Hi, Akhilesh. Uh, hi. Hi, Riyaz. How are you doing today? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Thank you, Akhilesh. So you need you need to check again in Indeed portal. Indeed is in there uh, in UK. You are from UK, right? Yes. Riyazuddin. So you check in your local uh, job uh, portal like uh, indeed or you I don't know what all job portals you have. You will get SCCM related job opportunities there. You also keep a keep a you know keep in touch with the, the consultant you know the contractors you know those people who are um, you know they are hiring people in companies. 
you check with them about SACM job opportunities. They will guide you. Okay. Okay. You will find SACM because it's a matured product. It's there for the past 25 years. Thousands and thousands of companies all over the globe. They are using it. Millions of devices are being managed by SACM. So you should not have problem. So today what we did, we talked about sites, central administration site, primary site and secondary. Central is what? Central is an optional site. Okay, Akhlesh. Secondary is what? Yes. Optional site. Optional. Primary is mandatory. mandatory. Now, central administration site can have how many? It supports how many devices? Clients? Eight, uh, eight, uh, eight, uh, eight, 8, 825,000 devices. Primary site can have how many devices? Supports in 175,000 clients. Secondary site supports up to how many devices? 15,000. 15,000. Do we need a database for central? Yes. For all of them. Yes, we need a database for central. Do we need for primary? Yes, we need database do we need for secondary yes but for secondary we can use sql express okay data replication happens from upward to downward right is that correct no it happens no. from downward to upward okay yes yes One central can have how many primary devices? 25 primary site. One central can have 25 primary site. One primary can have how many secondary site? 250. 250 secondary site. Got it? So central ad, ad, central administration site has only 25 primary sites. Maximum 25 primary sites. Okay. And what about secondary? Secondary can have distribution point. Secondary can have uh, distribution points. Right, as it is mentioned here in the capability. Secondary site supports up to 250 distribution points. So we'll talk about the distribution point tomorrow. Okay, what are distribution point? What is okay. management point and all? Okay. Okay. So secondary can have 250 deep distribution points. All good? Yes. So we are starting at 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. IST, India time, which is, I think, 6.30 a.m. UK time. What is the time there in uh, UK, Riyazuddin? Uh, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, right. So we are actually starting at 6.30 your time. Uh, can we do it like 11.30 permanently? 11.30. Riyazuddin, yeah, are you going to continue this session? Hello? Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you after the class. Okay, so we can do 11.30. 11:30 a.m. India time. That will be 7 a.m. UK time from tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. So we'll meet tomorrow at 11:30 India time or 7 a.m. UK time. 
i will uh, uh -huh. uh, send you the recording after the session okay. uh, and you need to you need to download that recording okay yes and uh, i have few suggestions or uh, uh, questions here mm. Mm -hmm. so uh, like we uh, uh, we are done for today here so after uh, uh, all the session like uh, after every day can we do practical as well or from yes. then practical we start every day we will do the practical but not now because we are doing the theory now so from day after mm -hmm. tomorrow we will start the practical uh like like where we can see uh case where we can see primary sites and console no, no, no. and we, uh how's the working we will start installing all the servers mm -hmm. like domain controller then we will install dns then all the roles and features we have to do all the prerequisite mm -hmm. then we will install a primary mm -hmm. site from day after tomorrow yes yes okay. and another thing uh like uh I'm working for clients here for for Microsoft, so I do have cases here. So, uh, how about we discuss the cases and the real time scenarios, like what are the issues we are going we are getting here? After every session, every day we can do ten okay. minutes for uh, uh, to discuss the cases. Okay. Okay, and last last thing. Uh, so after this session. Uh, we can do it on daily basis or we can do it after the session, after the complete class after 28 or 30 days uh, so can we get a list of interview questions which we generally which you generally get asked by the companies oh, okay sure i will i have the interview question and answers i will send that okay okay so will it be on daily basis or after the like uh, after, after the, the month after the session okay okay perfect that's that's it that's all which i want to ask okay. okay we'll meet tomorrow then okay thank you okay thank you thank you Kashi. Thank, thank you bye-bye thank you bye-bye bye-bye